When you see these bullets, you know you're dealing with a rhetorical synthesis question. And for these, you first want to find out what you should be looking for. If multiple answers fit that, then you get into the bullet points. So let's go ahead and try that. Here, the student wants to compare some disadvantages of docked and dockless bike share programs. So we're comparing the disadvantages of the docked and dockless bike share programs. So which answers are doing that? So let's get into A. Dockless programs can be disorganized. Docked programs, on the other hand, offer order and consistency. Well, here, we're not comparing the disadvantages. We're getting the disadvantage of one and an advantage of the other, so we can get rid of that. B. Worth noting is that while dockless programs are relatively easy and inexpensive, they are less flexible than docked. So here, we're getting an advantage and a disadvantage of one of them, but we're not getting disadvantages of both. So I might get rid of that. C. Docked programs are more resource intensive than dockless programs, but they avoid some of the latter's organizational challenges. Well, I think we are seeing disadvantages of both. In the beginning of this one, we're seeing that the docked programs are too resource intensive. But in the second part, we're seeing that the dockless programs have the organizational challenges. So this is the only one that seems to be giving us disadvantages of both. And D. Though dockless programs offer flexibility, docked bike share programs provide bicycles for shared use. This is giving us an advantage for both, so we're not seeing any disadvantages at all. So the only answer that could possibly be an answer here is C.